uh, as a group uh, try to look into what, what what we should do. So we divided the tasks into two. One uh, like part of the group would be working on the the image in text generation, and another part would be working on the image composition. And we were trying to look and find uh, models that can help us achieve that. And yeah, so there were some blockers, especially with relating to the uh, the capability of our uh, computers in the GPU. So yeah, today we'd be like asking for instances, the like GPU instances, so that we can have uh, a better machine to actually try and do what what's the task at hand. So yeah, thank you. Okay, that's great. So, any blockers that rely on it? Uh, I wouldn't really call it a blocker, but yeah, there is a blocker in the GPU department. So, I am hoping that we'll have that by today. Okay, okay, great. Is the team working on it also? Oh, I don't think that's something we can work on. It's like maybe Yababal would uh, give us a, an instance like last time. So that uh, oh, okay. we, we can work on that, yeah. Okay, okay, great. Uh, next, we'll have uh, Reddit. Reddit, you can speak up. Hello, good morning, everyone. Mm. So, lately, uh, uh, you just picked two people from one group, and Abdul had said it all. We have divided tasks to two, and we're, some of us are working on the text generation, and some of us on the composition one so unfortunately we both want the gpu badly so we're just waiting for that and uh, still then we're, we're trying to figure out uh, what kind of models to use and the effective way to use them so yeah that is the progress we have okay okay great uh did you try reaching out to the other one uh, no actually yeah, we, we've just talked to ask uh, to ask you on the stand up or um, on, on any platform that we will get to see up about. So, if we're not going to get him now, I, th I think we're going to reach him. Okay. Uh, I'll, Maybe I'll, make sure to, I'll, hmm? make sure him, I'll make sure to tell him also, so it's, it won't be a problem. Okay, thank you. Okay, okay great. Uh, next, you have Finia. Yeah, can speak up. If you're speaking, we can't hear you. I think you're on mute. No, oh, okay. He's saying he can't speak. Uh, okay, let's go to the next person. You can also type your updates. And next, we will have Mubarak. Good morning, everyone. My good morning. Yes, you are. Um, so uh, yesterday uh, uh, we tried to see uh, what will be the task, uh, what's the business objective, and how can we achieve that. Uh, and also uh, we uh, tried to do some EDA uh, to get uh, some understanding of how they are doing before and uh, how the data uh, will help us to achieve our goal. Uh, and also, uh, my teammate Baslel also working on the ML part. Uh, so as a team, uh, we tried uh, uh, to achieve uh, the goal. Uh, and uh, yeah, for today, this is my okay, okay, great. So, any blockers? Uh, not yet. Mm. Okay, great. Uh, Vasilin is waiting his hand, so let's prioritize him. Okay, you can speak up. Uh, hi, Rotas. Uh, hi, everyone. So, my I don't have an update that is different from Mubarak, but 
uh, so we yeah we are both working on uh, separate projects. However, I did want to ask. Uh, I asked in the Slack group if we would get if we would be getting uh, like an open AI key, and it would be nice if we get an answer so that you know we would know how to proceed with the image generation. Maybe Rodas, do you have any update or information regarding that? Because when we talked with Ababat, he said we might provide it, but we we don't have an answer yet, and it's already Wednesday, so. Okay, so I'm not sure, so I'll just have to talk to Yabal and get back to you all on the channel. Okay, thank you. Okay, no problem. Okay, next we will have Aaron. Aaron, you can speak up. Aaron, if you're speaking, we can't hear you. Okay, he's saying he can't speak. Okay, we can also type. Uh, next, we will have Ivan. Uh, hello, everyone, and good morning. So yesterday, I was able to do the image segmentation. I looked into models that do image segmentation and understanding of objects in image, and I was able to accomplish that. Um, today, I want to now go to the generation part generation of images from text part and also see how I can combine both to create one whole thing and then also work on the reports yeah that's all by my side on my side thank you okay okay great so any blockers uh, so far no the blocker that I had I talked to Melat and we solved it yeah so so far okay. I'm good thank you okay great Teamwork makes the dream work. So uh, next we will have now. Now you can speak up. Now if you're speaking, we can't hear you. And oh, okay, okay, he will type. Next we will have Berhan. Berhan, you can speak up. Hello, everyone. Am I audible? Yes, you are. Good morning. Um, hello? Um, yes, we can, we can hear you. Good morning. OK. OK, good morning, everyone. Um, yesterday, I, I had a lot of things, but I tried to uh, understand what's what's required then try to browse uh yolo a little bit and try to see how the object detection works and how we can use that in our scenario to our advantage given our data set and well i haven't figured it out till now but uh, we we are working on it to to use the, the, the data in a, in a way to help us to generate the image and also um, in image composition also. Uh, so that that's today will our work will be like that and writing the reporters. Thank you. Okay, that's great. Thank you so much, Behan. Uh, next we will have Hanel. Hanel, you can speak up. Hi Rodas, can you hear me? Yes. Good morning. Yeah. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Uh, so yesterday, I'm, I'm still on research. So since the first task is about image analysis and you know about the segmentation and detecting objects in an image, I'm still trying to figure out how that works. You know, one tool that I found in that was suggested was YOLO. So I'm trying to set up that environment and try to work with that. Uh, I'm still trying to go through the data and trying to make sense of it and you know trying to figure out how we're going to use it in our project so i'm still trying to figure things out and also trying to work on the interim report as i read about things so yeah that's my progress so far okay that's great so how's the team doing also uh yeah unfortunately we missed our uh, meet 
up uh, yesterday. So we're trying to, you know, huddle up to when we can. I think today we'll meet up and figure out our plan for the project. Okay, great. So who's the project lead for uh, this group work or you haven't figured it out yet? Uh, we haven't decided that yet. Yeah. After we meet, we'll decide. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's easier that way because uh, it's easier when one person uh, schedules the meeting and the, the rest of you uh, will just join. So, okay. Okay, great. Yeah, sounds good. Um, so next, yeah. Okay. Uh, next, we will have Daniel. Good morning, everyone. Can you hear me? Yes, you can hear you. Good morning. Okay. Uh, yesterday, I was just uh, trying to just uh, have a clear understanding on the business objective. And uh, I was trying to just load the influence and trying some models if they can just segment it uh, as the business objective required. And uh, I was also trying to summarize uh, what I already grasped on the report. Uh, and uh, this one is uh, my updates. Thank you. OK, great. So how about the rest of the team? How are you doing? I uh, just uh, I was just wondering that if I if uh, that team can be more than two. More than two people. Yes, yes. You, you can just uh, ask around and, you know, join another group. So if there are people, if there are groups with, with three people, you can also join them or ask people to join. So if anyone hasn't found a group yet, please make sure to reach out to Daniel. Oh, uh, I already contacted some of uh, my group teammates. Uh, okay. I was just, uh, yeah. Okay, so you haven't found sure. anyone no. yet? No, I, I, I was not sure that uh, if, if it is possible to form a group more than two people. I think so. I, I think you can. Yes, yes, you can. Uh, are there are, are there any other groups with more than two people? If there are, can you please show me a thumbs up? Yes. So I think uh, you can. You can ban it. So okay. just make sure to ask around or ask the people who you were with on the last uh, group project. Thank you. Okay. okay, great. Uh, so next we will have uh, Mehron. Mehron, you can speak up. Okay, good morning. Um, my group members, Abdulhamid and Radit, mentioned about our group progress. Uh, we are trying to download stable diffusion model for image composition. Um, today, we will continue on the model and I will prepare the interim report. Thank you. Okay, okay, great. Uh, so, how are you feeling, Meron? Good. Should I give you a scale from one to ten? Hmm. Around six. <laughs> okay, so, well, it's, yeah, it's, it's going to be good. Yeah, six is good. Yeah, okay. Okay, great. So next we will have Carol. Carol, you can speak up. Good morning, everyone. Uh, so as for our updates, uh, ye yesterday we were trying to work on some of the models that were su suggested to us and some more, so some other models as well. And we, so we, have, we have seen the results and we kind of have a grasp of uh, which model we, we, we should use. And uh, in addition to that, we were using, working on the EDA of the data uh, su suggested by the by Abdullah. 
uh, and we were also working on the YOLO uh, model. And we have seen a couple of more ver versions of it, but uh, I don't think uh, we got the results that we were looking for. So we'll be uh, lo looking forward with uh, experimenting with more models and trying to tag the data that was gi given to us and proceed to the hopefully proceed to the training. Yeah, that's cool. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Great. Thank you, Kate, for the update. Uh, next, we will have uh, Abraham. Before Abraham, are you uh, ready to speak, Dina? Okay. Okay. Then, uh, Abraham, you can go next. Abraham, at this. Good morning, everyone. Am I audible? Yes. Sir. Good morning. Yeah, so uh, yesterday uh, uh, I, I tried to uh, look at some of the resources on, on the challenge documents and I believe uh, I got a, a good understanding of the uh, project goal and the business need. And we, we were also discussing with my uh, teammate, uh, Ab the other Abraham, Abraham Tasfai. And uh, uh, we have a good understanding of what uh, computer vision is uh, and about we also uh, got a good understanding of what uh, image segmentation and classification is and we also try uh, a uh, image uh, if uh, the um, what do you call the model the fusion model we try to create a couple of images using the uh, diffusion model uh, from the hugging face and uh, we, we still we still also doing our research on that and and today where well, we, we are planning to uh, set up the project and work on the reports yeah that's it for my end okay okay great uh any blockers um we have a slight confusion regarding the json file i mean uh the uh, especially on the uh the one that says the asset suggestion I mean, uh, we don't really get the, the idea how it's going to uh, to be used, how to how we are going to use it in the whole uh, storyboard creation. Maybe if anyone has any opinion on that. Okay, great. So anyone else who's having the same issue as Abraham? Okay, so Biniam, uh, you can you can speak up. Okay. If you have any answers, you hear me? yes, yes, you are. Do you have any answers for Abraham? Oh, I'm not really sure about the answers, but I'm just trying to update you about how I. Okay, let's solve Abraham's issue first, and then we can okay. we can come back to you. Okay, maybe so you anyone answer the question, and then I'll I'll try to speak up. Yes, yes, okay. So, anyone else? Can you repeat the question, Abba? Hello? Sure, sure. So, uh, on, the, on the JSON file, uh, there's the key that says asset suggestion, and that, uh, that has a different frame. So, how are we going to uh, oh. use that in the whole uh, 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 storyboard creation or the image generation? Yes, Rodolf, you can speak up, and then we can go to Carol. Uh, okay, Abraham, uh, from my understanding uh, uh, from the last tutorial, we did with uh, Niki and Yabeba, it said that uh, the answer suggestion will be used as a, like a prompt. We, we, we use that as a prompt because you see, we have different uh, uh, answer suggestion. Is it, those answer suggestion are higher. The you know, the way we want the, the frame we want to generate will look like. So from my understanding, it will be used like a, a prompt to generate the frame. This is what I have understood so far. We can cross check with the variable and look at it. I don't know if it's going to help. Yeah. 
Okay. Okay. Thank you, Adolf. Uh, Carrot, you can go next. Yeah, uh, it's actually the same as uh, Rudolf said. So the frames are what we are trying to make. So the frames have uh, di different assets, uh, the background, the, the action buttons, you know, the interaction and everything. So that's what uh, we are trying to make. So the frames are the what we are trying to make though. So like the, on the first frame, we have uh, some like scenarios or some like image that we are going to create in the second frame we have the same thing and in the, in the third frame the, like the same thing so that's what we are trying to make uh, i hope it makes it clear so that's those are like prompts just as uh, rudolph said so it is like uh, it's like uh, is it like more description for the frames that we are going to create Uh, what do you mean more? I don't understand more. Like, are, are there any other de descriptions? Hello? Abraham, I think the question is for you. Uh, so sorry, okay, where the, my internet was breaking up. I'm sorry, oh, could you repeat okay. the question? So you said, I think, more de description, right? Uh, are there any other des descriptions for the prompts, for the frames? So I think it's better. Uh, we, we can talk uh, on Slack. OK, it's right. OK, great. I think yeah. he just left the meeting. Yeah. yeah. OK. OK. Yeah. OK. Thank you, Carol and Rodolf. So, uh, Binyam, you can speak up now. Give us an update. Okay. Uh, can you hear me? I think I'm audible. Sorry for yes. taking some time okay. out and really like have to start with somebody who's running some machines. Okay. So, yeah, my update is uh, also my day and almost half of Tuesday was spent on researching. And also, since we have a, a training led conversation this Friday, I was also working on that with Ego. And um, yeah, so far I have done, you know, I've tried to expand the, expand the, the prompt that the user is going to, whoever is going to prompt the system, is going to give us and expand it to, you know, so the model can understand it better. And I am trying to, actually, I'm currently working on trying to automate the individual, you know, Parts of the project and slowly iterate on each of them and feedback. So I have started from you know composing several images together in order to make you know a compelling storyboard. So yeah, generating the images was not that hard, but I think it's going to be I think it's going to be challenging when it comes to you know different kinds of prompts for each scene. You know, since, it's also, since it also requires a, a prompt engineering part to, you know, to get a, a very good and compelling type of uh, output, uh, I think it's going to be challenging on that part. But so far, uh, I think my approach is going to probably work. Um, you know, if I have any blockers, I'm going to pass on the slack and also on the big standards. We'll follow this. This is my idea so far. So Okay, okay, great. Uh, we are excited for the trainee led session also. And uh, yeah, so next we will have, I think it's Elias. Yes, Elias, you can go next. Hello, I'm Adol. Yes, you are. Good morning. Good morning, guys. <laughs> Yesterday, yeah, I was. I continue on uh, reading the resource provided uh, to understand better on the business objective and the whole project idea. Uh, and uh, in the afternoon, I try to perform on, uh, ADA on the data to get insights about the data providers and also try to generate some assets using the free models uh, so that uh, I can get 
the idea of Im generating images. And uh, uh, in the night, I was also trying to uh, pigment image, uh, extracting the assets from already created concepts and trying to learn about information about that. So that it will be helpful for uh, training our model later. Uh, that was pretty much what I've done yesterday. Today, I will continue working on this stuff and uh, work on the uh, interim submission too. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Elias, for the detailed uh, update. So next, we will have Nasrallah. Nasrallah, you can speak up. If you're speaking, we can't hear you, Nasrallah. Okay. He will update us here. Okay. Uh, so next, Lilian. Hello. Can you guys hear me? Yes, we can. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Um, yesterday, I've been reading all the research uh, reference pages that were given the challenge document. I was reading which tools to use, uh, and also was trying to perform some EDA analysis on the data, uh, which, by the way, is so messy. The naming, the uh, folder structure and everything is a bit challenging and I was trying to understand what it has. Uh, I was also trying to uh, generate some image from free assets such as DALI and try to create some advertisement image if I could. And yeah, today I'm planning to finish the data generation, uh, the data, the ED analysis and work on the ad generation parts of task one. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Lillian. Uh, so next, I think last person will, will be Miscano. And then, yeah, yeah, you can go next after Miscano. Good morning, everyone. So yeah, yesterday I was, yeah, we are more focusing on the and understanding the project and how we we can generate yeah we are trying to understand the image generation part and also how we can use yolo for uh yeah for labeling for labeling image and using it for for training our model and after that i i i try to to set up the image generation models yeah i'm also working on that and hopefully for today, I'll I'll try some image generation models, and I will start working on the interim. Okay. okay. Thank you, Ms. Ghana. Any blockers? Mm, no, not so far. Yeah, I'm trying to to load the models. Yeah. Okay, that's great. So yeah, yeah, you can speak up. And anyone else who'd want to go next, please don't hesitate to raise your hand. OK. Uh, good morning, Rodas and everyone. Uh, I believe uh, Abdullah Hamid, Reddit, and Miron uh, has updated you. Uh, the network was breaking up. Uh, so yesterday, uh, we tried to install the model uh, the stable diffusion model locally and we were successful on that but it doesn't run on cpu uh, it needs gpu so uh, we we agreed to ask you on the stand up during the stand up uh, i believe they they did that so we need the instance <laughs> badly so that we can start uh, working on uh, the model uh, as i've done that uh, uh, i have tried to see the the uh, given data 
the assets, the concepts, the, the categories, and their relationship. Uh, yeah, uh, I think someone also asked about the data. Uh, how can we use it? And I think Rodolf uh, has tried to uh, explain that. It's mainly for the uh, for the prompt. Uh, yeah, so that's our update on yesterday. Today we will be working on uh, if we got the instances, we will uh, load the models there and try to uh, generate and compose uh, some image and also uh, writing the interim report. Uh, thank you. Okay, thank you, Yaya. I'll make sure to get back to to all of you on the GPU and Open AI keys uh, access. So next, Rodolf, you can speak up. Rodolf, if you're speaking, we can't hear you. You're on mute. Hello, can you hear me now? Yes, we can. Good morning. Okay, good morning. Yeah, good morning, brothers. Good morning, everyone. So, uh, yesterday, I was keeping reading the material to get more understanding. Um, yeah, I did that for most of my time. Um, also, I tried to to generate an image using DALI uh, with a code. And uh, for that part, I was required an open AI key. Uh, so that's uh, one of my blockers. So uh, I will request you, if possible, to to help us to have an open AI key so that we can experience uh, the generation in case we want to use a, uh, open AI, DALI, and those things. Yeah. So apart from that, uh, if I will say I have a blocker, it will be on how I will bring everything I have understood into code. So, <laughs> so I'm figuring I'm figuring these things out, and hopefully I will I will get in touch with my group and other people because we we stay the, the same whole team. So that's it. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much, Rodo. Uh, I'll make sure to get back to you on the OpenAI key access. So, uh, I Can think you've been in. One second. Okay, yes. Um, yeah. Okay. yeah, I want to ask uh, the, the people who are asking for uh, instances and uh, or for, uh, for API keys. Um, just to to know, have you like looked on into like all the options you have? Like, uh, does all the options like you can find require GPU or um, or uh, API keys? Or is, did you like uh, look into your options and and found that these are the best? Uh, okay, and go ahead. Uh, anyone who has an answer, yeah, yeah, or. Uh, okay, empty now to answer your question. Uh, honestly, I didn't go to all the options. So uh, when I got close to that and I have understood, I wanted to try it and this was a blocker. So that's why I raised it. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry, uh, I was disconnected again. Uh, uh, regarding the open AI key, uh, I think the objective of the project is even uh, to use open sources. So uh, the open AI key might be used for uh, experimentation, uh, I mean, for generating some pictures. But for this project, me personally, I don't need open AI key. What I need is um, uh, a GPU. Uh, uh, we, we, I mean, we installed it locally, uh, but 
it doesn't run uh, on the CPU. It, it says no GPU available. Uh, so that's when, why. When you say install it, what, what are you referring to? Which model are you? Are um, stable, a stable diffusion. Uh, I think the, the, it has a specific name. Uh, we we tested yeah. on uh, hugging face for generation and for uh, composition. Yeah. Uh, it, it 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 gives us a good. I mean, uh, yeah, a good good results. Uh, I I can I can uh, say that. So we want to use that model. Okay. Unfortunately, it's not running locally. That's why I asked, we asked for the instance. And uh, uh, when you were uh, testing it on Hugging Face, this was just like you cannot use that uh, way in like uh, more of um, um, how to say it was only suitable for testing. It wasn't suitable for like uh, more of um, how to say on uh, on Hugging well, Face with, with on Hugging Face using the uh the, the the interface we give it a prompt it gives us or it generates uh images mm -hmm. uh by taking the um, a text from the uh that concept uh, data so yeah. it, it it gives some pictures or some images oh. right okay and even for the composition it they they have their own example you drag it drop it uh and it it composes it right mm -hmm. uh even it 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 uh, regards the aspect ratio uh yeah. even if the foreground in the uh, background images have the same dimension when you compose it it will uh appropriately resize the foreground and place it in the appropriate uh, position that 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 kind of model is that we need uh, i believe yeah. Okay, it, it's good that you tested it and you find like good results. That's uh, good. Um, like, so my question was like, it would be nice if you like write uh, this is the exact model or what um, that we were using or this exact software we're using. Maybe you okay. can write that on Slack. Yeah, so we, that's we'll the details. Exactly, that's good. Thank you. Okay. And because like okay. if everyone tried, like every group or every like individual who people who are working alone um tried something maybe you can ride because like not everyone will going to be able to test everything of course it would be nice to have like some kind of uh, collective knowledge about what works and what not doesn't work what requires uh, like a lot of resources and what doesn't um just to know uh, my question was about uh, have you tested something else because like uh, just to know what have you explored it, it is good uh, to not like uh, while we are waiting for maybe Yavabal will provide instances, as he like suggested at some point. Um, it's, it's good to not like just sit there and just to try like to see like, what our options are out there. OK, that's all I had to say. Is, does anyone have an answer to my question? Go ahead. Uh, have you tried to use uh, automatic okay. 11? Uh, it is user to run uh, the same diffusion models. Have you tried that one? And if you tried that one, uh, you can use a command, uh, use CPU or CPU all. So you don't need uh, to have GPU, but it is slow and uh, make your PC so hard. Okay. But you can still yeah. run. Yeah, yeah, that's the point, uh, Mubarak. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, you can you can put the option for CPU, but it will it will take all the memory. Uh, I think Reddit can also say something about that. Uh, even the GPU, uh, she had like sixteen RAM GPU. Uh, that wasn't enough. That that's why we uh, yeah. You see, that's why I want like uh, if you had like some shared this like we tried this with these uh, resources that would be very useful to have. Yeah, so this is very valuable information. Um, okay, thank you for uh, sharing your uh, what you have uh, tested, uh, everyone. So you can go ahead, uh, Binyam. Are you? You want to have an update? You should want to share an update. Sorry, like uh, okay. Uh, who is next? Let's see. Um, 
okay. Binyam, the first one is not answering. Okay, Abraham, are this? And you can go ahead. I actually give or I actually give my bits, but just to give some suggestion for Yaya. Uh, have you tried uh, running the module on the Google Colab? So from our end, we were just trying to load uh, the diffuser model using Google Colab, and we changed the running environment and ask for GPU, and we were able to create. Uh, we were able to generate a couple of images. Uh, Using Google uh, Colabs. Okay, that that's a good option. Uh, but how how did you load the model to Google Colab? Are you calling it from Hugging Face? Yes, or? yes. We are calling it from Hugging Face, and we were able to load it uh, on the Google Colabs. So I'm sorry to interrupt, but. Uh, um, for example, I have tried Google Colab to install the model and it was successful and it was better than the local environment. I mean, the vase, of course, but it's, you know, it's not that much, uh, uh, it doesn't have that much uh, options uh, to use the, for example, in order to generate an image, we might want to to con connect other, uh, like, we might want to use Kinters like, to generate the image in another page or in another way format. So Google Colab sometimes, not actually sometimes on this case it, it cannot uh, use that kind of extension so it is better to use those codes in base code and you know we we, we don't have that uh, uh, space in base code but yes in google collab i've tried to load some uh, uh, models diffusion models and they were it was it was successful but i don't think so that google collab will provide us that simplicity in order to do all the projects and also yeah. about automatic one 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 um yeah yeah you had just said we also we also have tried that but it needs really uh, a lot of space and memory and uh it's not going to be it's not going to be efficient to use automatic one 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 in you know in in our own um pc or you know space okay. And also, uh, sorry, on Google Colab, if you are using it uh, often, or yeah, they 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 say they will they will ban your account. Yeah, uh, I have read about that. Yeah, exactly. It had recently been paid. We can use Google Colab to use automatic one one one. With we should sign up in with the payment or with credit. We're we're not so. It's not you know. It's not free to use. Actually, the, I, um, my account was suspended uh, due to uh, a lot of trial, but uh, I think uh, we, we might need some instances for... Uh, that, yeah, that's you exactly right. my point. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, so this is great, I think. Um, uh, yeah, so if you could draw it, like, uh, like all of your experience together, so that you can like uh, when you when we reach out to um to yeah but well, we can have like this like these are the reasoning for 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 having the instances um and just to have like this valuable experience um uh, like yeah known for by everyone binyam you have your hand raised you can go ahead you have something to say No, my, my oh, uh, mistake. Mistake. Yeah. Okay, no problem. So does anyone else have to like something to share or like an update? Binyam is a mistake again. <laughs> um, okay, so I have one question. All right, go ahead. So, like, when we generate the app, do we get to, you know, are we expecting a large amount of tokens from the user, like a prompt, and are we supposed to segment the prompt into different, you know, are we supposed to break it down and feed it to the to the diffusion model, uh, like, or uh, are we supposed to take uh, a prompt like frame by frame? Like making sure what the user wants. 
so like the prompts are already there in the concept dot json file that's what that's what are you using you're not getting so you're not going to get like um uh, new prompts from the user from a user okay uh, and in the concept uh, don't json file you can find like for each frame there are asset suggestions so you will find multiple assets for each frame and you should try and generate each one of those basically that's the point does this answer your question Uh, yeah, somehow it does, but I also have another question, like Go ahead. if you have an asset already, if Sorry? you already have an asset, are we going to, am I not audible? Hello? You're audible, but barely, like uh, your side, I don't know, maybe it's a problem on my side, but I don't hear you very well. Uh, Maybe if if you can get closer to the mic. Yeah. Okay. Wait a okay. Okay, how about it? Hello? We can't, we can't, we can't really hear you, Can you maybe type on the, uh, on the comment section? Uh, if if you can hear us, please make sure to type. We can't really hear you. Uh, Ab Abdul Hamid, you can go next. Mm, okay. So I have a question regarding the generating uh, an image that holds the text. So was anyone able to uh, create? A coherent uh, text as an image using stable diffusion or any open source model. Like, okay, Mubarak, you can speak up. I don't think we can generate uh, an a text image because they are bad at generating uh, texts. So maybe. Uh, generating the text with uh, a text generator model and embedding to the image will work. That's my suggestion. No, but I do. I don't have another suggestion because we don't have to to generate any text because the text already is given, right? Like click here or click to play. Those are the, the those are the text or the mottos are also given. So I don't think. We need any text aside from that. So uh, maybe the image text generation is the way to go. Yeah, but but uh, the text is to be embedded into an image as an image, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I do. Like oh, we were having that question before, and. Uh, Actually, it's possible. Um, um, again, it's, not work. it's possible to generate the image with. Uh, we were talking yeah. about with yeah, yeah, about creating an image. I mean, giving them a prompt to create an image. I mean, to create a text as an image. So yeah, it is possible to give a prompt to. For for example, we can say that uh, create an image. Create an image. Yeah. With the text this this yeah. That's the uh, yeah. Create an image. So it is possible. The models that we're using are creating an. <laughs> Okay, are creating. Yeah, we have tried that. And, uh, they are not correct when it comes to the spelling part. They will generate that. You know that, but okay. <laughs> the spelling is not correct. Yeah. Okay. Maybe lack accuracy, but uh, you might be right. But it, it can create an issue with low accuracy or something. I don't know. 
possible. So, uh, an incorrect English on an ad is yeah, yeah. not real. Thank you. No, I, the ad that uh, I generated is not, uh, it have the correct spelling. So that's why, I mean, I get the point that it might have a log accuracy from you. So that might be right. But the ad that I have created or that that, that generated for me was right. That is why. Okay. All right. Thanks. Okay. Or you can use a dynamic, you know. Can you repeat, Vinia? I think it's your network or your microphone. We can't. Your voice is breaking up. Um, okay, so I think Hello. we can use a Vinian? series of dynamically allocated text on Vinian? images. We can, we can also, also use that instead of generic. Uh, turn off the mic either on your PC or phone. You are speaking on two microphones. Okay. How about now? Is it kind of audio? Okay, just uh, I was just gonna say you can use CV2 to dynamically allocate text on the images, like the one we used uh, on the Algorand project. Yeah, okay, good suggestion, Bidi, I'm thinking. Okay, okay, great. Thank you, Bidi, and everyone else. Uh, yeah, yeah, you can speak up. No, I was gonna ask Bidi to raise his question about generating assets because he has a, a good point. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh okay. So it's for empty none, I think. Uh, if we have like assets, uh, I was not really sure how we're gonna use the the assets and also using a generation, you know, a generated model. So I'm kind of confused how exactly we're gonna use the given data or like the assets. Um, so the assets you're talking about, um, these are like the part of, the, are they the assets you generated from a generative model or are you talking about the the assets that are given in this um, big zip file? Uh, yeah, the, da the data that was given by the team. Yeah, okay. So uh, like we discussed, I think yesterday, um, you, um, you have this, uh, text in the concept.json file, these are, you can use as prompts to generate new assets. The assets that are given in, uh, in this uh, big file, uh, big uh, folder, these are assets for all the ads that uh, were created and used by Aldodio before, and they are there for you to learn from, basically. So after you have in task, uh, two or I don't know the numbering, but if you have a task to generate assets, generate uh, images and text, and then you have another task, uh, the next task after you generate this, uh, you're going to generate these images from text, just from the, uh, the concept of JSON. Then uh, you have another task to compose these assets together into frames. So you will have like uh, multiple images for each frame. You have to compose to put them together. And to do that, you will have to learn how to to learn how to do that. You are given these examples of these old ads so that you can learn from them because you have like the, the, the frames there. You can look at them and you can actually use um, uh, maybe a machine learning model to learn from them, basically. Um, do you get the idea? OK, so like we're supposed to train a model. With the assets, yeah. right? Yes, in, in as yes, that's that's the idea. You have to find a way to do that. Um, yeah. So, like that's why they are given. Okay, I think that answers my question. So I'll get to work. Okay. 
good. Um, Manuel, do you have a question? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, let me tell you my understanding and then maybe you can add something to it. So uh, as I understood it, like the data, I'm not sure about the relevance to the stable diffusion part, but for labeling it, I think in a way that's like, if we have an asset and there is a component to it, let's say the title text is at some position, like the example you showed us yesterday. So I think we should use the asset data to create labelings. Like if we have a title and if we know the position of that title, and if we're trying to draw the frame next time, and we have, let's say we have a title for that frame, then based on this label data, we can access that position of that frame. So the title will go to this position. Then next time we generate an icon, we can add, you know, know the position of that icon based on the label data we have, so we know where to place it. So is this something like that that we're supposed to do, or do you have anything to add? Yeah. Anything? Yes, 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 that's exactly it. it. Yeah, you got it right. Um... Uh, but for the composition part, I'm not really sure how we are going to use the asset part. So maybe I mean, what, what if someone is that... Yeah. I mean, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's very really funny. That, that's that's exactly what you use for composition. Uh, I, I believe uh, the main objective of this project is not to generate. Uh, I think Yabe also tried to uh, say that yesterday. The main objective is given the assets, how can you compose them into a storyboard, right? Basically, we, we, we have two landing pages. The first one, the first landing page, and the uh, in um, the frame, right? So the objective is to organize these components into the landing page and into the uh, in the frame. So that, that's exactly what you use for uh, the composition. So uh, before that, you have to train the model so that it can figure out where which component goes to where right uh, i think I, I missed the the tutorial because of the network yesterday but um i was running the codes uh, of internet yesterday night so that 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 that's kind of uh task we're going to do you will find the the position for like the engagement for the, what you call it, for the uh, call to action. And you can uh, relate those with the, the categories also. Uh, there is a, a file called categories, right? So using the, those, uh, the, the, I believe the main objective is composing the components, uh, not generating, but the generation part is also part of the, uh, yeah, part of the project. Thank you. Okay, so I have a question. Like the stable diffusion model, are we going to use it for both the composing and also the image generation part? Uh, they, they have their own. I mean, there is one who uh, that does both, but uh, we are interested particularly in the one that compose uh, images. Uh, currently, it, it's taking a foreground and a background image and th then uh, it will compose it appropriately that it does so our our uh, intention is if it does that then we can uh, take the, the composed the first composed image as a background and another component as a foreground and we compose it again uh, that that's kind of strategy that we have currently but there are oh, there are models sure. for composing, and there are models for generating. Uh, 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 I think Reddit and Macdas are working on the generation, uh, and uh, the other group is working on the composition. Mm -hmm. yeah. So as I understand it, like you're doing it in steps, right? The first one will create a background, and they will compose another image to it, and you'll use that as a background again, and. Another image and so on, right? 
Yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Great. So uh, we don't have much time left. Uh, so if you have any questions, make sure to read it on the Slack channel. And I think that's all. We will have uh, one tutorial today. It will be at in the afternoon at one p.m. UTC. Uh, so yeah, I think that's all. Uh, thank you all for participating. And yes. Have a good day.